Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about baselines. What is a baseline? So on the screen, I've got some tasks, a small project. I've linked all the tasks together, you can see that there. I've added some resources, and you can see the Gantt chart has got the format on for critical tasks. So you can see that there, critical tasks on there. Look at the resources, down to the resource sheet. It's just a simple list of resources, nothing too technical or complicated. Some material resources, a cost resource, and most of the people are work resources. So I've added all these, and now I'm ready to save a baseline. So what is a baseline? A baseline is just a, basically a snapshot of your plan, what you intended to do. And then from the point that you save a baseline, you can then measure in project terms how you're doing against that baseline. Now, Microsoft Project allows you or facilitates 11 baselines altogether. So throughout a project, you can either save 11 separate baselines or you can save over the previous one, which is not recommended because the idea is that you would review the baseline and it would be something you would measure how far down the line you'd gone on a project against where you are um, on your baseline so your baseline might say for example in two months time you should have 50 percent of the project done your actuals are you're only a 30 percent done stuff like that so you can see where the slippage is, uh, slippage is now to save a baseline you need to go to the project tab and then you've got this set here schedule set baseline so if i click on set baseline for this one you see there you've got up to 11, 10 numbered, and then the first one's not numbered. You've also got, which is a bit of a legacy from older versions of Project, the ability to copy the start and finish dates, the current start and finish dates, into start one, finish one, etc., etc. That's like called an interim plan. So I'm just going to leave it on that one you've also got the option to do a baseline for the entire project or just selected tasks so you just highlight the tasks and set that baseline for those now i'm just going to cancel this for a second and come back to it in a minute because i want to change what i'm looking at here i want to go to a different view and uh, down this left hand side the view i want is the tracking view tracking gantt view and I've lost all my tasks, so I'll just go to tasks and scroll along to them, bring them in. Looks slightly different, it's got, got the percentage complete on there. The table itself, I normally tell people, because this is still the entry table, if you go to the view tabs, change the table to the tracking table, and then you get a few more really cool fields. I'm just going to widen these. And now, I don't particularly want this column, so I'm going to delete that one. And... I'm going to insert some columns. So actual start, I want the insert column. I want the baseline start. So baseline start. So I have a an idea of what I plan to start. I want the baseline finish. Baseline finish. And I want the baseline duration. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this. Baseline duration can't see it for looking baseline duration so those three columns are not filled in yet because I haven't saved a baseline but when I do save a baseline they will get populated and that is that's my plan and then anything I update from that point on will be measured against that plan so let's go and do that so if I go back to project set baseline set baseline there it is okay and then all this gets populated with the actual current information that's on the normal Gantt chart. Now what you do is you can see the Gantt chart, um, the normal Gantt chart view I meant to say, not Gantt chart, this is a Gantt chart. You can see it's got these little grey markers which basically is the baseline, where the baseline is and the the red on this one is activated, it's critical. If I go on to, let's take, take that off, no, there you go. So that's, sorry, that's part of this view. They're going to move, the red ones are going to move off as I update this project. So 
I'm not a fan of doing 100% complete because that means that the planned duration was one day. So if this took two days, for example, and I do 100% complete without changing anything else, for all intents and purposes, that only costs one day's worth of work because it still says one day. So what you need to do is, is do the actual duration. So let's do that. If I put that first task as two days, straight away it goes to 100% complete. The dates get filled in, which is great. And the actual hours worked is great. The actual cost is going to be different from the baseline cost. If you wanted to have a look at the baseline cost in this particular table, even though there are um, other tables available, you can just add that column, baseline cost, that one. So you can see what it should have cost and what it is now costing. That's only got, I've only got resources on the first two tasks. Now, if I go to, and you can see that moved across, that's moved out. The start date was okay, but let's say the start date of this one in Store Software Room 2 um, didn't start on the 8th, which it should have done. Let's say it started on, we're in November, aren't we? Go back. Let's say it started on the 15th. That's now moved that right out of sync. And if I go again to say that was two days, you can do the two days on there and what you can now do and this is simulating a longer project than just this short one is i could save a second baseline which i will do project set baseline set baseline there's the one i saved baseline one click ok now it's saving baseline one and now if i say that this 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 one is now two days as well slick off for three days and this one is three days that makes it complete 100% complete 100% complete now you're looking still at looking at the baseline the first baseline markers there so you can see how much it's moved off that but if you go to the Gantt chart format option at the top you can look at different baselines by clicking these options so now you see how much it's moved from the second baseline if at all and it has moved off and then you can put it back on to the first one or you can take them off altogether so it doesn't show that and then you can look at slippage for the baseline that's the baseline one the first baseline baseline one slippage you can see that and again you can take those off if you don't want them on and then put the baseline back on that you want to look at and like i said you've got up to 11 baselines that you can use throughout a project and lots and lots of information getting stored in these fields for you to have a look at at a later date or run reports on so that's how you create a baseline and that's what a baseline is a line in the sand if you like and you can change the gantt chart view to look at if you've got more than one baseline to look at multiple baselines if i just have a quick look at that one for you so this one is on the view tab other views more views and then it's called multiple baseline gantt that one and then apply that and we're gonna to have to scroll to the tasks again so let's go to task scroll to tasks you can see that the two baselines are sitting there and if you point to it baseline one summary if i double click on that actually i can go into text and on the right i can type baseline one cost 1518 so i'll go into that one double click on that one baseline cost there you go so you got the actual information and if you right click in this space there oh sorry double click in the space there you can actually format the rest of it if you want whatever you want to put on there like names or name the task names coming on there so you can see that this is a summary stuff at the top so you're not seeing the task name because i've put that on there but it gives you a bit of an idea and the reason these lines are so thin is because there could be 11 baselines in there if you want you can expand that make it a bit deeper but it's not going to change this too much but basically that's what a baseline is and it's something that makes project a great tool and you really do need to be using baselines in project 
because that's what is uh, going to measure you against your plan and that is the power of projects you're running reports based on, on time phased tasks and you're not just using project as a planning tool so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one